Hey there! Are you interested in safe and effective supplements that have been scientifically proven to energize your workouts, increase exercise performance, and promote increased recovery? If you answered yes to any of these and aren't using an essential amino acid supplement, then you may be missing out. Before we dive right into the science behind essential amino acids, I want to clear a common misconception in the fitness industry. Brands chain amino acids are actually essential amino acids. In fact, the BCAAs leucine, isoleucine, and valine are just three of the nine EAAs, or essential amino acids. However, because BCAAs are the most important trio of essential amino acids, we as supplement formulators tend to delineate BCAA supplements from EAA supplements so that we can actually take advantage of all the benefits that they have to offer. So what about the other essential amino acids? This is a great question that I get often. After all, there are nine essential aminos that you must get in the diet. Although it would be kind of repetitive to go through each and every biological role for each and every EAA, there are key benefits to using a complete full spectrum EAA supplement in the intro workout window. First, high quality EAA supplements like our Pure EAA contain at least five grams of BCAAs in a two to one to one leucine to isoleucine to valine ratio. Taking this during your workout ensures blood amino acids remain elevated and enable you to continue to perform as strong at the end of your workout as you were at the beginning. Second, each of the six other essential amino acids contributes synergistically to muscle protein synthesis and muscularity. And this is especially apparent when EAAs are used under caloric restriction or intermittent fasting, which are really common these days. It's this synergy among the EAAs that science has recently highlighted that makes EAAs a must-have anabolic support agent. The anabolic response to taking a full-spectrum EAA supplement like ours, intra workout, seems to supersede that of taking straight BCAAs. So if you aren't using a full-spectrum essential amino acid supplement during your training, then you're likely not maximizing muscular gains. Our amino acid supplements are pure and insatized, so they mix immediately. As a pre-workout, my recommendation is to mix 5 to 10 grams of ATP Labs IBCAAs with 500 mils of water in a shaker and drink this 30 minutes before training. Intra workout, mix 10 grams of ATP Labs Pure EAA in 500 to 600 mils of water and sip that during your workout. This approach will give you all the anti-catabolic and energizing effects of BCAA supplementation while still promoting the greatest effect on protein synthesis with our full spectrum EAA supplement. What's so special about our BCAAs? Well, they are fermented from vegetable matter, so they're vegan friendly. And as with all of our products, they are third party tested at least three times before they reach your digestive system. This means that you get 100% of what you paid for with no contaminants or pathogens, and we are endorsed by informed choice. So it's a guarantee that there are no banned substances in any of our products. As well, we have no artificial flavors, colors, and all of our products are sweetened only with organic stevia. BCAAs make up a great proportion of the total amino acid content in skeletal muscle, but they're also broken down readily during exercise. This is called catabolism. The status of BCAA breakdown is dependent on the branch chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase complex, or BCKDH, activity, which is relatively dormant under resting conditions, but becomes highly activated with exercise. During exercise stress, BCAAs are reduced to their basic components and are eventually used as fuel for energy. Based on this, I recommend taking 5 to 10 grams of BCAAs pre-workout. By supplying an abundance of supplemental BCAAs prior to training, you ensure that blood levels of leucine, isoleucine, and valine are elevated, which spares BCAAs in muscle for anabolic signaling, muscle protein synthesis, and muscular gains down the road. It's been scientifically shown that exercise increases 5-hydroxytryptamine release. Also known as 5-HT or serotonin, this neurotransmitter contributes to exercise-induced fatigue because 5-HT affects mood, arousal, and sleepiness. Exercise leads to decreased plasma BCAAs, and as exercise progresses, there's an elevation in plasma-free fatty acids. This promotes an increase in free tryptophan release. This free tryptophan causes an imbalance in free tryptophan to BCA ratio and promotes increased tryptophan uptake by the brain. Well, serotonin synthesis is very sensitive to changes in plasma tryptophan levels and the transport of tryptophan across the blood-brain barrier. So ingestion of BCAAs prior to exercise maintains free tryptophan to BCA homeostasis and as a result, it limits the amount of tryptophan that crosses the blood-brain barrier, thus limiting the amount of 5-HT produced 
and delaying fatigue. The plasma concentration ratio of free tryptophan to BCAAs has been shown to increase by 45% during cycling exercise and by 150% of five minutes after exercise. The ratio remains unchanged or even decreased when BCAAs are ingested immediately prior to or during exercise. Interestingly, research has shown that subjects undergoing strenuous exercise who are given BCAAs before training report significantly lower ratings of perceived exertion and mental fatigue than those that were given a placebo. As well, BCAA supplementation could augment brain function. This is done through its ability to balance brain tryptophan levels, as we talked about earlier. Those who regularly ingest BCAAs before exercise find that mood and mental function are enhanced. In support of this, it was shown that subjects who underwent a test of mental attention and flexibility after exercise performed significantly better when they took BCAAs before they did the exercise. Finally, research has shown that BCAAs support proper immune system function as they are needed for lymphocytes to synthesize proteins, DNA and RNA, and to undergo cell division. It's been shown in studies of rodents and humans that BCA restriction results in increased susceptibility to pathogens, leading to an increased infection rate. Well, that's it folks. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. I hope you consider joining the ATP Lab Lifestyle. And if you haven't already, try out our IBCA and EAA supplements to help you with your health and fitness goals. Please let us know if you have any questions and what you think of our products in the comments section below. Make sure you follow ATP Lab on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram at ATP underscore labs. And please follow me at DRDN Jackson on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr.